Hey folks, we're back here again with another episode of Beginning Spay Tactics and we talked a little bit about approaching a run, choosing your casting angle. Right in there with the first couple things that you should think about is your waiting position. And part of that is your position in relation to the fish. And when we're spay fishing, we have the ability to lengthen out our cast. So because of that, I feel like our waiting position can be closer into the bank than a lot of other types of fishing. Um, I've got kind of a nice hard current here that softens out and deepens out. Um, be a good way to fish a lot of different tactics. If I was single hand nymph fishing for steelhead, I'd probably be a little bit out in the game a little bit more. I'd be deeper in the run. That would allow me to mend my line, to manage it a lot better. If I was Euro nymphing with a single hand rod, you know, you wanna be close enough that you can lift the line off the water. When we're spay fishing for steelhead, because of the length of the rod, we can be a little bit further away from the action. And I tend to think especially in the beginning, if you can wade somewhere in between ankle depth and maybe midway up to your thigh, it's going to provide really nice casting. Once you get higher up your thighs, up to your waist, belly button, all that stuff, you're gonna have to change the stroke, the plane of your sweep so much that it's gonna make it quite a bit harder to cast. Same thing happens if you're standing on a rock above the water, it's really hard to get that D-loop timing. So if you're, you know, mid ankle up to your knees, that is just gonna be the sweet spot. And as you work through a run, as we all know, there's different things, you know, every step is different. And so as you work through a run and you start to cover water, I like to keep, I either try to keep a line or I'm trying to keep a depth in my legs. And oftentimes that requires me to either, if I'm on a gravel bar that pushes out, then my wading position will push out into the river. Or if it's receding back to the bank, then I'll kind of cut back to the bank and I'll keep the depth relatively constant on my legs because I don't, I don't need to be way out there waiting wise to get way out there. So choosing your waiting position isn't just about the fact that we're fishing with spay rods. A big part of it is the swing itself. And when I can, I try to position myself on the bank side of where I think my fish are gonna be holding. So what that means is I don't like to be, if I can avoid it, I don't like to be in a direct line with my fish. I never wanna be straight upstream from the fish that I'm targeting. So like this spot, I have a hunch that the fish are kinda of down and across and choosing this angle, it's not only really easy to swing into them, but as my fly is coming across, I really try to avoid the straight hang down grab. If I can avoid it, I try to. And, and part of that is just my time on the water, having a pretty difficult time trying to actually get a fish to get pinned when it eats directly below you. It happens, I've landed fish doing it, um, a number of people have, but if I can avoid it, I try to position myself on the bank side of where I think my fish are holding, and that way I can just swing my fly through their lane and elicit more of that grab out in the current, just pulls the line tighter. It's just a safer connection in my mind, so for me, the wading position, it's not only about keeping a constant wade 
or being able to stretch out there. It's about where your body is in relation to the fish that you're targeting. A lot of classic steelhead runs that we like to swing set up similar to this where they have a nice gravel bar shelf on the inside. There are a lot of great swing runs that just don't offer that so you can't stay in that you know ankle shin deep you got to go deeper than your knees oftentimes in the winter you're you're hopping in right up to your waist and it's not a bad thing it's just part of the game and really to get to get to be effective in those spots over time the biggest thing i think of is you're just going to have to lift that line more off the water when you're weighted into your waist belly button anywhere higher you got to bring that line on a higher plane and you can still fish it effectively even though that type of weighting is never going to be my first choice. So weighting position like approaching a run is another quick and easy tutorial but it's an important thing to understand off the bat because if you grew up or you're used to doing other types of fishing you might step into a run right here and just charge right in and try and get right in the action and the reality is there could have been a fish right there and that's important to think about because your waiting position your casting position all of that allows you to present a fly to a steelhead with a minimal amount of effort we don't need to go charging out in the river we can stand in some relatively calm water and fish a relatively calm presentation. So thank you very much for tuning in.